Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. First of all, oh baby, 3.0, it's been announced. I didn't say that in the last video because it hadn't been announced when I recorded the last video, but 3.0 comes out two weeks from today on Steam. Can you believe that? So we're about to be entering a golden age of Slice and Dice content. Cannot wait. Yeah, very excited. Anyway, second of all, uh, you clicked on this video, so it's already probably in the thumbnail and the title, but I was doing the rounds and there's a good complex hard here, so we're going to play complex hard. There's, a, there's one that I'm very excited about. It's also, sorry, it's complex hard generate, also uh, worth noting, but let's get to it. Yeah, for 3.0, I'm, I'm going to be playing a lot of it, no doubt. I'll be streaming it, I'll be playing it on here, so look forward to that. Uh, we'll, I'll see what I want to do. I think for YouTube, I, I'm not 100% sure of this, but I think Tan said they were going to add in a way to craft runs, basically, like custom run creation in 3.0. I'm not 100% certain that's that's in or not. I haven't like I don't have any inside information, but if that is the case, we can make our own complex hard runs and try to go through all the curses with minimal blessings and things like that and make some really cool stuff. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, let's get to it. So I'm going to play Add War Chief Level Up Middle and we will play, what is Wretched Crown? Upon Death, Kill All Allies. No thanks, I'll take armor. So if you've never seen it in complex, or, or sorry, in generate, level up turns them into a normal guy. So we'll be playing with Paladin for a while, but we then will be getting two tier fours, which is very exciting. And the curse is pretty bad. So let's see what our generates are. Yo, scoundrel who? Wait, this guy is so much better than scoundrel. That's not fair. Uh, whoa, mini scrapper. Triple cleanse guy. And a three pain. This guy's pretty good too, actually. I had a good slice and dice run on stream recently. It was a. I had a few good slice and dice runs on stream. I'm interested to hear if you would like me to uh, bring those over as their own videos or. or what, basically. Because I don't feel too strongly either way. But. Bringing it over as its own video would be... Because I don't expect you to go watch every stream bot to see all the cool content, right? That's ridiculous. But... Dude, this music? Am I crazy? Why is it so loud? I keep turning it down and I feel like that's never enough. Anyway, as I was saying... Uh, I, had a, I had a few pretty good ones on stream recently, but... It's like, I, it feels like I don't have time to upload stream highlights anymore since I'm doing Slice and Dice and Monster Train or Wild Frost every day. Where's the time? This guy's pretty good. I mean, this Y one is horrific, so... And this, this R2 is very bad. What if Priestess was just awful? But let's run it. But yeah, the run that I had, I, I played... It was a complex generate run where I ended up having to play around Petrified Scale for a lot of the run. You know Petrified Scale. The It's the plus, start Petrified on the top, but plus three. I had to play a whole run living my life through that. It was very interesting. I thought, anyway. I don't want to send this one damage. Uh, I, I, you know, I also had a regular run that was pretty cool, where I, I took Monster Right and then had some of the worst luck of my life. It was more like monster wrong, <laughs> am I right, fellas? Oh, man. Monster wrong. <laughs> I like foil, but I've been I've been digging these side rotators a lot. I think there's a lot of value in something like compass. Although maybe a little less than generate. I don't know. Warchief Crone Boar. Horrifying. The horror. But I do have Paladin, who is extremely good for this point in the run, so... Being able to get two mana out of Paladin is a game changer. Level up middle is definitely the worst of the options, since the middle is usually your worst side. Or your worst character, I mean. 
Not even, oh, come on, V1. What is my brother doing? But having a tier three at the start of the run is good. This will start to fall off very quickly and we will feel the effects of our troubles. I may actually just be killed once we get into the end game here, like once we get into the 12 to 13 era. It's gonna depend pretty heavily on if our generates are human or not. Plague? Ugh. I think this R2 is like terrible, but this plague is no way, right? No way you pick plague here. Who's our R1? Our R1 is not much better, so we can just take this, I guess. Yeah, man, just roll plague three times and then it's good, right? I know. Sort of good. I think I'm looking for boost. It's really important that I try to kill War Chief here. I don't think I'm killing War Chief here. I think that in no observable universe do I have kill a kill on this War Chief. Maybe if I hit, but yeah, you may as well just go. This cool and exciting run may actually be over right away. I don't think I'm getting out of this one, buddy. I guess I should have put my damage into War Chief there, but I'm not sure. One to all, what are you? You're nine and you're seven. So the four damage heavy goes to alpha. You have to roll the two damage self shield. You need to roll me three heal shield. Hmm, I don't think so. Heal one mana one is whatever. Okay. Hmm, can't do it. Okay, I think our time is running out. Well, I can do it, I guess. Sorry, no more. I mean, if I survive from this position, Alpha really is the worst boss in the game. This dude is so worthless if I live this. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna live it. It's just disgusting. He's so pathetic. He's pr yeah, he should have a great matchup here. Like this is his time. He got double wolf spawn off right away. How does he lose this, right? How could he possibly lose this fight? I think I go for the alpha, but no, I think I go for the wolves. I think it's better because we have a lot of ways to do one to all here. Dude, I can't believe he's losing this. What a throw. I can lock this one damage. But that's not quite right. I think this two mana is a waste. I should look for better healing. I keep the one. And I keep this one. Four damage? Does this kill Alpha? It does. I lose my Y2, but these three can beat two wolves, I'm sure. Paladin can outheal these wolves, assuming he doesn't miss. Yeah, okay. Unbelievable that he loses that. It did also come down to a pretty clutch R2 roll. I won't lie, hitting that dodge on that turn was very important. Uh, you can roll for heal me, heal me in a game. Heal me in a game. Yeah, I just outkill these wolves. Keep Paladin alive. They have no chance. The cantrip dodge from R2 was super good though, because it dodged six damage for free to continue my turn. I burst here. Actually pathetic though. Like what the hell, Alpha? 
That was his best case, too. Maybe this team is better than I think. I mean, Paladin, he just gives so much survivability as these fights go on. Two plus one. All right, oh one. Get me out of this fight, please. Okay, that's fine, buddy. Take your time. I'm in no rush here on turn 10. It's all good, brother. It's all good. You can you can roll as many X's as you like, buddy. Insane that we lived that. Cheater's Sleeves is good in Generate because a lot of Generates hit ones. It won't be good now, but it'll be good later. And sometimes with a Cantra reroll, it'll connect. Can I get a boost here, please, R2? Oh, wow. Thank you. Can I get a sports car here, please? Oh, a sports car, actually. That shit. I knew a guy who had a sports car when I was doing pizza delivery. He said his insurance was like, it was so expensive. It was like, he had like an old sports car too. It was like a 2006 model sports car. And this was in 2019, I think, 2018. Anyway, that dude's car was like, he said the insurance was like $2,000 a month or something like that. That doesn't sound right. I don't think that guy could have paid two thousand dollars a month for insurance. Actually, no offense to him, but like, maybe maybe a little less. Or maybe he was lying to me. What if he was fucking with me? A lot of people at that job did just like to lie. It was like a pastime, I guess. Had this one guy. He uh, said he took a delivery down to this neighborhood, and people started jumping on his car and shouting, fuck Papa John's. I didn't believe him. Anyway. What a weirdo. And these hero choices aren't very good either. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. Uh, this guy gets cheater sleeves and, you know, double cantrips, it's possible. Wow, that is two max roll suitles. Don't like that very much. The good news is we have the health. I didn't hit any cantrips and I think I'm not gonna kill myself here over it. I am gonna hit drop, which is shocking. Sorry, I actually just didn't even recognize that that quartz was a quartz. I thought that was a pseudo. I'm not kidding. I thought you were a pseudo, buddy. Sure, guys. Whatever you like. As you wish. Pseudos go 6, 6, 5, 4, and you go X, 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 X. Yeah, 1, 2. Mm -hmm. They feel bad for me because of your pathetic ass. You disgust me. Actually, just sickening. And this this Y two, he really proves why two. <laughs> no, he proves why I think that the the two tier two yellows with the two damage self shield are so good. This guy just does not die. He is a survivor. This is probably lethal. It is. Very nice. Iron Pendant for sure. Blood Chalice is also pretty good, but I think the odds are in our favor to hit a steel side. Inevitably, someone's gonna generate me a steel side and then we're gonna die. Four, five, six, seven. I'm one damage off of lethal. No, I have lethal. Incorrect. You just have to burst one. Could have bursted the other one to save B2's health, actually. That would have been smart. Okay, turn two paladin, heal shield six, or heals and shields for six total. 
I don't like you, O1. We are not friends. Oh, I didn't even see that boost there. It's all good. It could be... I think it's probably better to make it one mana, but whatever. As soon as I kill that first war chief, this fight cannot be a loss. The moment he died, it was all but over. That is so. Okay. That has to be... Is this actually a one in a million? Hold on. Because there's a thousand generates, right? I mean, I think that's just a one in a million. I have to screenshot that. It's, it's probably not quite. Because the first one doesn't matter. It could be anything. So I guess it's actually just a one in 1,000, right? Because this could have been any number. And then it's just a one in 1,000 to get the same number. I don't know. Anyway, seems extremely, extremely unlikely. Sorry, I'm just taking a second here to put that one in my Discord. By the way, join the Discord Slice and Dice channel. You can go talk about Slice and Dice with people. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just shocked. I am, I am still shocked. Uh, sure, man. Glad I got that one on ca on camera. No matter what happens now, this video is going up because that's, uh, you know, sometimes if I go like 20 minutes and then just die, I'll throw the video out because it's not that interesting. And like, I'm not going to get another good complex uh, generate out. But like, what the hell? That doesn't seem right. Also, it double generated me garbage. This hero sucks so much. This guy is a dead weight. Undoubtedly. I want to go here. We're gonna need to kill this war chief first. This is counted as a zero pip side for the purposes of cheater sleeves. Also, insane. This R2 has clutched so hard multiple times now. I will never get the 5x cheater sleeves. Yeah, just checking. Making sure I'm correct. Could I ever? I think it's out of the question. I'm just, it's like, I want it. But I guess it's not right. Oh, you could rampage it. I mean, it's unlikely. From this spot, I would say it's not possible. But. Yeah, you could rampage for it. Try to set that up. Slime Queen, also a very unserious boss. Very unconcerned by this boss's existence here. I want to hit one. Let me just see. Let's not let's not be goofy about this. One drop, one drop. Oh, I'm off by one damage. One damage and I win the fight here. How about drop one, one, drop one, one. And then you die. So you can stop here. I'll accept it. I mean, it's lethal. Be gone. Chainmail flawed diamond. Oh, this fight kills me. Yo, ooh, ooh, ooh. hey, 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 hey. War Chief with a double chest bonus? Ooh, buddy. Let's, uh... Let's 
not beat around the bush here. I'm about to get fucking annihilated on turn one. Never mind, they both made bones. I'm so. Oh, and I rolled. Alright, never mind. False alarm, everyone. I'm better. Just counting it up here. I roll for boost on this guy. Problem is that I have a lot of ways to lose here, but we go off anyway. Oh, I'm so close to just cleaning up the whole board. It's armor one. Without armor one, I would have it. I would actually kill everything here if it weren't for armor one. How disappointing. Well, next turn. I mean, it'll be fine, because I'll just do one to all with balance. All of these bones that they're spawning in don't matter. Yeah, they're gonna go to reinforcements. Well, they're gonna come in anyway. It's okay. It looks scary, but it's not that scary. With three mana in the tank. It's not so bad. I need this for... I want to roll for the boost. And you'll always roll me one mana, so you can roll it. Okay. Close. I think you go first here. There's like a chain reaction you can set up. One's on three. It's super close. It's probably best just go balance and then here. I'll have it next turn. This dude really shit the bed though. O2, you should have gone crazy with it here. This was your fight. Don't even look at me. Don't even think about me. Uh, this is not the right guy. This is the right guy. Holy. This is, like, a borderline infinite, by the way. Super, super close to this guy just going infinite here. I am not taking pillow. Thank you. The B3467 infinite. Everyone knows about this line. The problem is, what am I doing a fucking infinite for? Infinite dodge? That sounds not right. Why am I doing this? Oh boy, here I go. For what? For what? To what end? I don't even know. I'm just doing it because it's cool? I guess. I have lethal anyway. Monocle? Engage? Shield? No. Well, Beam is pretty worthless. I'm never making 5 mana, so... Although, maybe I'll get a cool tier 3. Unholy Strength? It's not bad. This character will always have a dodge. This R2, so you may as well. And if I can get a cantrip on the right side, we have a cool one here. Hold. I, I, I feel a sneeze. Do you feel it? 
I guess I'm good. If I have to silence myself, you know where I went. Two, you're looking for... I don't even know what I'm doing here. Two mana, sure. Yeah, you can miss. It's not out of the question. It's just a shame. Wow, blades. Sorry, R2. You kind of got skill gap, though. Time to come to the realization that my team actually does nothing and all I've been doing is surviving on this AoE damage that I have going for me. And, like, nobody on this team kills Spiker. And the infinite is only good if you connect with it. Hmm. Interesting. I would appear to be dying. Who is killing this guy? At least I have blades. I don't even need this two mana. I should roll for heal shield. Four damage, but you're dead for it, so probably not that. Yeah, one damage to the spiker is cool. Okay. Yeah, whatever you like, buddy. Shout out to Blades, my favorite spell. Love that thing. Remember this infinite that I was thinking about doing? Apparently it's broken. But like not like it's broken as it's not working anymore. Because my guy just can't connect with it anymore. He did it once and I was like, oh yeah, three three sides, three reroll sides. You're gonna hit every time, right? Apparently not. At least I know. Shout out to Paladin. That's my guy. Oh, I'm off. I have the correct numbers, but it's not actually lethal. Need one more mana. Oh, here he goes. Don't even need it, buddy. Cut it out. Okay. Cantrip one damage. Yep. That's me. Cantrip one damage. All right, here I go. Let's get it to, uh -huh. um, one to all is okay, probably. I'm just shocked at how little my R2 is actually playing the game. Kind of incredible. I gave you this shit because you have this cantrip dodge and then you've missed it like 10 straight rolls. I'm being disrespected and maybe this one will maybe be the death of me. A spectacular end to an otherwise very cool run. Just a shocking way for it to go. But sometimes your R2 just misses everything. Unholy strength, by the way. More like unholy garbage. I guess I should have moved the chain mail over, but no, there's no no fucking way. I have infinite rerolls, cantrip, dodge, and I miss. It's just not possible. It just isn't possible. It doesn't happen. This shit doesn't happen to me. No, I'm going for it. I went out here. You just have to hit it one time. You have two chan- there you go. I'm gonna become fucking insufferable if I lose this run. You will never hear the end of it from me. There you go. Hope you're ready to watch me kill these guys one damage at a time, by the way. In the end, I'm probably going to end up playing Blades. I 
and just clearing out all these bones. Oh boy. Look man, I know the theory. The theory is very clear on what's supposed to happen here. I should have, with these two dice, I should always have infinite rolls. He has so many reroll sides. I think at 13, it just, in, I don't know the numbers, but intuitively I think it's just infinite. There's no way I miss this shit enough times, right? Because you have the plus, the, the one extra hit for the times five through that cantrip. And I'm never hitting less than five. I Although I am slowly losing rolls, so... I don't know. When we get down to, like, five, I'll start to think about changing strategies. This is, like... This is madness. This is just madness. By the way, if I get Silk Cape, this is, like, a true infinite. Like, there's a, it's a 100%. There's no missing. If I get Silk Cape. It's impossible. And that is just insanity. Okay, we got one. The most damage my O3 could take on this turn is 8 damage from imps, so I'm not worried about that. Ooh, we're running out of rolls. Come on, guys, wake up. There we go. Back to 10. Generate, I feel, puts you in the most boulder-pushing situations. Like, I will win this fight, but at some point I will have to stop and ask myself, was I was, was it worth it? Was this choice worthy? I truly am not sure. Maybe I should have stopped a long, long time ago. Give me one more bones kill here, and then I... If I clear the board, I'll be all good. Come on, guys. You got this shit. There you go. It's been a while since I hit a cantrip one sword, though. There we go. It'd be nice to kill off that one bones that's just sitting there, but... You know. This is how it goes sometimes on the video games. Sometimes you're here. Sometimes you're there. Sometimes you're here. I hope. There we go. There we go. I need like, what? I need one more hit into either the Imp or the War Chief here, ideally. Good. Got some rolls back. I'm slowly decaying, though. This is not a stable orbit. Although if I hit the, the reroll side five times in a row, Hmm. If we were at 13, we're now getting down as low as 5 before we get it back. Oh, I almost saw one damage there. What do you think the average expected amount of damage I'm going to be doing is per roll? With one cantrip and infinite rerolls, is it just 1 sixth? Is it like 1 out of 6 rolls you do damage? Is that the expected outcome? I'm not actually sure. Would sure be nice if I had, like, mana gain or something here. The real tragedy is when I'm rolling, like, XXX there. That shit's a shame. Oh, okay. Let me get one shield here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just take a quick peek here at this one. If I die, if I die, if I die looking here on 12 rerolls, I'm just not gonna feel well. So, there's no reason to stop. No reason to die looking. I do think, though, at this point, I should just take these away. But, well, I do have to hit the blades, I guess. Back up to 13 rolls, huh? I There's a point in time where you will stop hitting. Like, you'll go 10 dry, I'm sure, eventually. It just seems unlikely that you'll go 10 dry, doesn't it? 
Nice. Well, maybe not nice. Maybe at this point I would rather be killed. Uh, hard to say. But this was a, a, an upswing. I'm gonna end up positive on my rolls here. Never mind, this was actually a neutral swing. I whiffed a lot of times there. Two, two daggers in a row. Holy. I don't know, what, what else is there to say? I have trapped myself into a vortex. It is my own making, my own design, my own hubris that puts me here. But here I am nonetheless. Haha <laughs> guys, check this out. Cheater sleeves, it's gonna do something cool. Oh, whoops, we missed a few times. Now I'm in the fucking gulag, fighting for my life. Oh boy, hey, I'm running out of rolls. Perhaps death would be preferable. Oh, the war chief is dead. Um, I don't want to take these off. Yeah, two damage is now better than one to all. I want Paladin to roll me the four. I mean, we may as well just kill off this imp, right? They can't stop me. No, you know what? I'm f I'm done. It's lethal. I see it. It's over. I leave. <laughs> Good God. R2, don't fucking do that to me. Christine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Overflowing chalice. Sure. I think this thing is good. If you don't roll cantrip dodge, I'm not gonna... Okay, you're safe. You, I don't have to speak on what I'm going to do for. I do not have to do it. Give me boost. We don't, this doesn't go forever, don't forget. This is not infinite immediately. If I roll it again now, it's infinite. I think it's time to start locking in here. No boosts, huh? Oh, the cantrip dodge fucked me over there. I forgot that can happen. Yeah, that was my fault. I forgot. Just burst this dude. That's uh, fine. Kill off the illusions, take her easy here. I missed that rampage side though. That one damage rampage side, that shit was fun. Hey, boost. And this will do six damage, I believe. And when you're dead and buried, I'll be happy. Things will look fine. I may as well roll to zero here. Oh no, I could miss. I could miss actually, and then things are bad. Let's not fuck around here. Mm -hmm. Quite. You're just gonna go into timeout. Okay, that's two. Three, four. You know, deep down in my soul, I prayed for this outcome. I won't lie. I am glad for this. Although I shouldn't have had Paladin. Yeah, I shouldn't have had Paladin do that.
He should have locked a self or like a shield effect side. It's okay, but this R2 will escape purgatory eventually. That's you dead. I think I take the safe play here. That's lethal. Yeah, okay. Please, God. No more battles. Please, please God. I mean, seven damage exert is okay. He just kills Warchief. Well, he doesn't quite. He needs a little help. Let's run it. Come on, buddy. Hydra's kind of scary, isn't it? Okay, that's my timer reset. I have multiple rolls. I may as well go for a cantrip hit. Okay, done with the cantrip hit idea. Please, God. No more battles. I don't want to be strong anymore. Just let it be over. I will, I will relish in death, I swear. I'll, I'll be glad for it. Don't make me go back. I'm gonna lock this four. Don't make me go back. Oh. Ooh. Scary. One, two, three, four. Okay. This is it. We maintain our overflowing chalice and then this Hydra dies this turn. One, two. Three, four, five, that's lethal. Conduit. I don't think so. I'll take metal studs here. And let's go on this guy, give him the twos. This looks really bad. I guess the good news is I have Exert 7 here. Which kind of makes you realize you should move these studs around. Okay, good start. Or bad start, depending on who you are. Three, yep. Bandits have more HP than War Chiefs. Please, no. 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 No! Haven't I suffered enough? No. I haven't. I've done worse things than this. Let's be honest with ourselves. Nothing that I put myself through is going to be worse. Oh, hey, we're missing. Wow, incredible. I actually just died. Nothing that I go through is going to be worse than doing that little fade infinite at five in the morning. That shit was just atrocious. Blades here is gooky. I wanted to overkill multiple targets here. Seems like it's not in the cards. That's 
That's exactly <laughs> so. Yeah, this guy threw. B3 actually just fucking tossed this run. Kind of impressive. Like a, a major throw. But I play around Chalice and I'll be alright. He had to land on mana there, basically. Uh, but I think he went XX on the last few rolls, which was a shame. I have to keep Y3 alive so I can overkill a war chief. That's our primary objective. He'll take me through this one. You save yourself. You save here. Do you have I mean, look buddy, your fate's in your own hands. There you go, you get to live. Good job. Oh, very nice. I burst here. I balance. That sets the bottom war chief to. Uh, unless Y3 really shits his pants here, we're gonna be fine. It's like, it's gonna be a spectacular loss. Yeah, okay. All good. Whoa. Curious, is it not? <laughs> Just very curious, I must say. What a, what a guy. I mean, it's boost. I don't know what else you want, it's boost. I'm not putting on holy strength out. It's boost. Off to a bad start here for Mr. B3. We have to kill this war chief. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. If you, O3, roll an X, we will no longer be friends. Very good. You're invited to my birthday party again. Okay. We're just gonna overflowing chalice value into Tarantus here. We actually aren't that weak. Oh my god, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Well, this will make things harder. Blade blades? Nah, don't be ridiculous. Burst, burst, though, is fine. The good thing here, and I mean, it's not surprising. The real reason I picked this R3, I didn't speak on this at the moment, but I picked this character because of Salve. Salve is a winner. And I mean, two boost is also very good. Oh, fuck. No. It's okay, it's okay, I'll just whiff. See, I'll just, it's fine. It's all good, it's all good. You should probably not do this, though. I don't think I want this guy exerting. That's nothing. You got it, buddy. I believe in you. I guess I'll let him exert. And I'm not gonna burst down to 10 here because I don't want my O3 to waste his turn. Because you burst him down to 10 and then O3 throws a cantrip into the shit and dies. I know how it goes. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Hmm. 
one off of blades burst burst here. That's okay. We just lose our... I mean, they were hitting into the guy who was dying anyway. If we die to three spiders, uh, so be it. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, metal studs on this V3. I mean, two, two shield mana is absurd. Four shield mana is even more absurd. You guys are already dead on my screen. The coon. Ha! I mean, it's good. We live forever. It's not good in this fight, though. This is not a fight where we need it. With an item like Cocoon, you have to recognize when you can actually use it. Not here. Not here. Three mana good, two mana good. Two mana good. Three, two. Blades, one. Blades. Close to lethal. Too bad. Man. <laughs> I, I got so excited at the start of this run. Oh boy, I can't wait to see some really cool and exciting tier 4 generates. It's for 12 damage exert, 9 damage heavy? That's all you got? That's your whole that's your whole thing. Who on earth is that? I guess I'll take this R4, 11 HP, and they have bind. I'm down. I think they're gonna die before Cocoon does anything, but it's fine. This fight will probably go for it. Cool how the little white marks on the dice change for the tier 4. Don't you think? They are killing him. Just annihilating my brother. He is getting his ass beat. Fun fact about birds, they will not run away if you are hitting into armor. Like so. So that's a little trick you can use in the future for yourself. Because they actually have to take health damage for the effect to trigger. This is on 2 boost, 4 damage. The cool thing here is that with Unholy Strength I can still bind if I need it. I don't need it, it's just cool. I wanted to hit Blades, but it's just not worth it. Although you're dying to both of these, so I'd have to go like... I guess I do actually have to bind here. Bind into Blades is fine. I will miss Salve, though. That spell is probably better to have. Seven, three. Now we're into the era value turns. Here I am. Pressing blades because it's fun. You know? Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is it really worth it? Is this who I am? Is this what I do? I guess it is. Well, shit. I guess it is. Well, I wanna take screenshots for this thumbnail, and I wanna get it right. Give me one sec. Hello, I'm back. I don't remember which screen I was on. Sorry, there may have been a jump there. I don't remember if I was here or here. I think I was actually here. Oh well, my fault. Uh, sorry about the jump cut. I for gore. Won't let it happen again. Okay. Let's get to it. It's entirely possible that I do not connect here. 
I would say unlikely, but not impossible. We have so many chances, is the issue. I just don't know what I'm rolling for. I hope I get a good cantrip for our final pick. I mean, maybe I'm never going to connect. Hmm. Can happen. Unlikely, though, I would say. I'm going to roll infinite times, and for what? Because the, the cantrip fucks it up. I don't know. Like, you'll never hit this Quinn. And it may not even matter. I don't know what side I'm rolling for anymore. I guess I'm just gonna lock in. At the end of the day, I'm winning this run because of Chalice and nothing else. Please. Brother. Stop rolling. It's done, I get it. Burst, burst, four. And then we put this fanatic down. I'll have to do some considering here on what the fuck I'm actually playing. Because I really don't know. Don't kill yourself, O3. Hey. What did I just say? Good with me. Kind of beating your ass. I like I get this 11 mana. I make all this mana and then I have to play blades twice. That doesn't feel real. That doesn't feel right. I'm going to play bind bind. This also feels wrong for what it's worth. I do still take the pain, by the way. Unfortunately. Boost three shield. So this is four mana, but it's not as good. I mean, I guess I lock. Okay. You're so stupid. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. I get it. That doesn't seem right. Who's killing you? It's just natural damage. I just don't know if I can let this happen. I think R4 is dead. I guess I could go here into boost into self shield. And then I only have to pick six and I let this moron go. Yeah, that's fine. Because then next turn I roll one mana side. There's no pain happening. I roll a mana side and I clear the board of all of these bones. We blades blades on this turn. Heal shield three. One mana. Oh, I don't have enough to blades blades. Oh. Interesting. And then maybe shield here first here. I'm playing to survive right now. I'm not playing to put myself into a great spot. I'm playing to not die here. That's where we are currently. I will accept. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I see. I read ya. I don't know. You feel lucky? What do you think? You feel lucky? This character either makes me unkillable or is worthless. I feel lucky. I can feel it. It feels good. I feel strong. I feel powerful. For fortunate, even. I will never, so I'm never going to get this Quinn value out. It's because there's a five cantrip, a one cantrip, and two three cantrips. So you'll never hit Quinn's here. I think maybe you could hit it on this one. But the big call out is to go Unholy Strength here and give this a plus one. That's your big call. I'm basically just saying, I'll bind you. Okay. Um, three mana is good. Seven exert to kill War Chief is good. This is good. Three, two, four mana. Do I want to lock four mana? That's your big question. I'd rather get a shield out first before I lock it. This isn't bad. Where does this put me? You're dead. Nah, I don't think that's right. Uh, we just chill though? Kill the war chief and then nine doesn't really matter. It's like even, basically. And then a burst here, I suppose. I don't know. She makes a demon, but I think I'm unkillable. If I'm not mistaken, I think I cannot be killed. Five. And so if I'm unkillable, I just let this era cook. That's what I think. <laughs> Some of us are unkillable. Sorry, I should clarify. Some of us are unkillable. Two shield. I mean, I'm probably going to land on something like this anyway. I may as well take a look. Bind blades. Blades? It's decent. I have six rolls. I want to hit mana on this R4, I think. Because then I can go bind... Okay, okay, I see. So you want to lock just this, actually, because this should be more damage, this should be mana, and this will help me get whatever I want. I want this other reinforcement on the screen, basically. Okay, land me on a two shield, please, Mr. B3. Okay, so now I go bind... Kill. Blades, blades. Yeah, okay. I was just checking. You can't kill yourself on bind. That's what I thought. That's fine with me. Plus two from Chalice. Very nice. Really, we're only on heal boost two? Hmm. I thought we would be further along. If I have to, I can bind, bind. I am... kind of just confused right now. 
<laughs> I won't lie. I'm kind of just lost. Here's my reroll. I should block that four damage out of this guy. Six self heal is good. Give me a four. Cool, cool. It's like dead even. You go here and you're alive. to bind here so that I can kill this demon with a burst. The pain is a grim. If I let my G4 die... Ah, you know what? No, let's not be stupid about this. I mean, I understand now what I am doing here. Do you get it? Because I get it now. I figured it out. It has clicked, Hexia. I am sorry to say, it has clicked. I keep this floor. Give me mana at your leisure, R4. We have as long as you want to take for this. There you go. And then you give me mana. Again, at your leisure, whenever you're feeling it. As you wish. Take your time, buddy. All good with me. Okay. Bind, bind, bind. Bind. <laughs> That's the play. What do I do on this turn? I just make my whole team immune to damage. And then I swing into this demon. And then I do it again next turn. Seems fine to me. With nine mana from these two, I mean, I'm chilling. I'm real. I'm just chilling. It seems like. Whatever, man. Fucking hit him with the iron curtain. I kill this demon. I don't want to break my chalice, because I'm starting at 5, and I basically need to have- I, I want to generate 15 mana per turn. That's the goal. Honestly, you deserve it, buddy. Yeah, this is the problem. If this guy hits the cantrip, he can kill himself. Go on. Take your time. No rush here, Doc. As you wish. You're running the show. So this guy doesn't need it. These two always need it. And we get seven. Do you need it? He's poisoned for one. I guess he needs it. Sure. This, I, like, Hexia needs to petrify me. Please stop making demons. It's so, like, I just want to win. It'll be easier when I don't have pain. Next turn, I think, will be much nicer. God, he's one poison, so he just sits there and dies. Ugh. I don't have a resurrect either, so I have to commit a bind to this guy every turn now. Maybe I go in for lethal. Oh, my B3 gets petrified here. I asked for it, too. I mean, I guess we're going in here. It's do or die. Eight damage, self heal. Seven mana. I think it is do or die here. Come on. Why do you shield there? Okay. Let's consider. Wish I had a heal. But I, I mean, I, I wish I had a cleanse is what I wish I had here. Having to give this guy three mana to get through poison is such a shame. But I have 15 mana. I have 12 mana, actually. 
I think letting my B3 get petrified for four is probably the end of me. Do I win from this spot? What do you think? Uh, I think yes. Oh, but you know what I really don't want is this. Poison means you can't bind here anymore. Or rather, it means I'm committed to binding here from here on. If I just spam that shit, I lose the game. Yeah, hold on. Mana or bind is like a dam holding back the mana burn. That's probably not it. Although maybe it could be. You go. Usually, if you're having trouble on Hexia, what you're supposed to do is slow play Endure. I bet this works. He's gonna be petrified, but that's okay. I am giving up my Y3, but he's exerted. What I'm saying here is that I will kill in the next two turns, which I think I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I win. This line is for sure. Take the nine. Also of note that the game's, uh, the system is smart enough to not waste the shield cantrip on someone who's already, uh, or, or who can't be shielded, I should say. I'm gonna keep the bind rolling. I win next turn for sure. Just a real fucking weirdo finish to this one. Don't forget to bind. Cool. I mean, I am glad I played this one for sure. I'm glad I checked. This was a lot of fun. Um, rolls 13 13. Oh my god. Cool. Um, yeah, you know, I said I missed the heal, but. Turns out if you just bind your whole team every turn, Hexia can't do much. That was fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.